Ah. So how much money you need to start dropshipping? E-commerce. Whatever. It's all the same shit. It's all the same shit. But I just finished this morning deep few hours of product research. My brain's a bit fucking fried right now. So I'm going to do my best. Gonna go work out, go run some errands, come back to work later in the afternoon, maybe eat before as well. But look, I get this question a lot. And I feel like someone has to say it. I'm going to be honest. Someone has to say it. If you have asked yourself this question, you're already failing. <laughs> like, Look, I don't know if anyone has told you that. I'm here to tell you the truth. I'm, and sometimes the truth may fucking hurt. But if you've asked yourself this question, you're failing already. I never once even when my bank account was at fucking four hundred dollars never asked maybe i should try a different business model because drop shit like how much does it take to for drop shit like bro look let's be real i'm about to i'm about to start i've took in the whole month this last month i've reset rewinded you know like I've talked about in another video about the slingshot. I stopped, took a pause and winded up the slingshot. So this whole month I've just been doing research, research, studying, research. And soon I'm going to start testing again. That's going to cost. And let me tell you again, I'm not a bullshitter. I don't lie. I'm not rich. I'm far. Well, I'm rich in a lot of other areas but i don't have that much money and i'm like again i'm gonna be honest yeah in the bank account the bank account's not not doing the best it's not the healthiest it's been healthier but i've never ever considered once like oh fuck maybe i should stop or maybe i shouldn't even start or maybe i should not continue because I don't have the money with any any business model with any it's just the the way the world works you need to spend money to make money you can't be scared to go broke I like I've said I I've learned my lesson okay when I went to $400 in my bank account I got my fucking life scared shitless I was scared don't get me wrong Fear is not going to go away. And again, in a position where my bank account is probably not the healthiest right now. Yes, you could say I have some fear. I have some doubt. I have some worry. But I do not change my actions. I still. I st I'm fucking slamming the desk too much. I still do what I got to do. And whatever the fucking whatever it costs, it costs. OK, and don't look at that. If I have, if I have so little money, all I got to do is go get a job, save up and try again, go get a job and not spend that money on that job with anything else besides e-commerce flow in, flow out, flow in, flow out until something fucking hits, but do not like, bro, I hate, like I've gotten this question so many times. I have a thousand dollars. I have $2,000. Is that good enough, bro? What, the f like, what the fuck? What the fuck? You could start with zero dollars. If I had zero dollars right now, I would fuck off, go get a job, hustle on that job. While hustling at that job, I would study e-commerce, study, 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 research, and then when I got the funds in from the job, I rip it, starting at zero dollars. You can you you can leverage credit. You can I don't know. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not gonna tell you go borrow money or ask for credits uh, that uh, to spend credit like you don't have. But it's just like you're not the only one in this situation, and other people probably less fortunate than you have figured it out. So kind of like 
figure it out. <laughs> like, kind of, that's the best advice I can give myself. I'm not just trying to rip you watching. I've obviously um, going through something similar. And I, like I said, my bank account's not the healthiest. I still have that doubt. I still have some fear. And I try to tell myself, like, Julian, bro, like, whatever it costs, it costs. Both financially and mentally and physically and um, sacrifices for life, whatever it costs, I'm willing to do and I'm ready. That's how bad you want to have it. So if if you want it that bad, the question of how much will it financially cost shouldn't even come across your head. You should just be like, you know, whatever the fuck it costs. I'll manage to get that money. Obviously, it might not have it might not cost you a million dollars, but it's gonna cost you a decent amount. I've made a video, you can go check out my channel. Definitely, I've definitely spent over 10 G's easily. I'm, I, I'm probably, I think I'm close to 20. I think I'm, I'm, I'm I think I'm, I think it's 20 G's easy. I, but you see, I don't even keep count. I don't care. I just spend what it necessary, what's necessary, and what it takes. And if you're feeling like like this, or if your friend is feeling like this that's doing e-commerce or you're in some community that a lot of people are asking the question, send this video, send this video to them, send this video to them and say, bro, listen, listen up here, bitch. Okay. Fucking find the money. If you don't have, if you have zero money and like, look, I feel like I don't want to make this video too long. I feel like this financial situation, um, always controversial i've gotten a few hate comments because it's like bro you're living with your parents you have no, nothing to talk about but it's like okay first of all i've been i've easily said i'm very grateful um but my parents uh luckily enough they don't spoil me they they pay for whatever the necessity is but everything in my bank account is from me and i've got like i've said i got into 400 dollars, and they didn't help me they didn't give me extra money nothing so it's like yes my cost of living is secured i'm very grateful for that but for people who are out there who their cost of living is not secured are you really gonna make that an excuse or is that the reason you're gonna fail again you're right no one else is experiencing that like i'm just trying to give you some motivation right here no one else has been in your position or even worse and figured it out like you're right obviously you're not right like you're fucking wrong so if you really want it that bad Stop making excuses. Stop saying, oh, but I'm worse than you than it. Failing mindset already. Please, please, I beg you. It's for you. It's not even for me. Wake the fuck up. Don't, don't ever have that mindset. It's, it's disgusting. And you're not going to go anywhere. This was a little like motivation talk video. But again, a lot of it's like, I'm, it's like I'm talking to a, you, like a camera, but I'm also talking to me a lot. So don't get it fucking twisted. Don't get hated. And uh, if you're ever going to make a comment, fucking watch the full video. I get a lot of comments where it's like, if you would have watched the full video, you would have fucking maybe said, hmm, never mind. But anyways, thank you for watching, though. Keep fucking hustling. Keep fucking hustling. And I'll keep you updated on my fucking business, on my store. I'm very excited. And I'll see you at the top.